Praise the Lord. Somebody waiting for a miracle. I said, Praise the Lord. The time has come. The time of God's power. Christ's unlimited power in your life will roll those problems away. Getting ready for miracle? Where are you there? Blind eyes will open. The lame will rise up and walk. All the stroke will vanish away. Incurable disease will be healed. And now is your time. Identify the sickness where it is. And so you lay one hand there. And you raise up the other hand. And then we pray. And the power will come down. And touch you right there. And then when you hear the final amen. You see the miracle there. And then God will put testimony in your mouth. Who am I talking to right there? I see you there. It's coming. Lift up that hand. Lay the other hand where the problem is. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this moment of power. This is the time for healing. The time for deliverance. The time for rolling mountains away. The time for the supernatural. I pray you come down in your mighty power in Jesus' name. I command that spirit of insanity come out in Jesus' name. Epilepsy come out in Jesus' name. All that cause and all that yoke in your life, I break it right now. You are free. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have incurable disease. They've gone here and there. They have not been healed. I pray that that healing power will come to their body right now. Lord, let your virtue flow to them right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. That call tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma, they be healed in Jesus' name. Earlier, they come out in Jesus' name. That swelling come out in Jesus' name. I command that leprosy to be healed right now in Jesus' name. That issue of blood dry up now in Jesus' name. That stiffness in your body, neck and arms and shoulder, be loosed in Jesus' name. The swelling elephant tears is in the leg, on the back, at the back, or swelling on the armpit, anywhere swelling there, come out in Jesus' name. And I command those who are lame, let strength come to your body now. Stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. Paralysis, be healed in Jesus' name. And any yoke there is broken. Infirmity taken away. Freedom coming to you. Deliverance coming to you. Miracle coming to you right now. Lord, set your people free. In every pavilion, everywhere, miracle. To my left, miracle. To my right, miracle. Right there at the back, miracle. Everywhere, miracle. Answer the prayers of your people. Set your people free. Definite miracle everywhere. Hallelujah, shout everywhere. Confirm it right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray.
it is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. You see the miracle right there. And whatever you were not able to do before, go ahead. You are free. If you are lame, rise up and walk. If you are blind, uh, open your eyes and you'll see me here. Anything there, check it up. Check it up. Check it up. It's done. It's done. It's done. And you come out. You come out as you see that miracle. It is happening there. It is happening there. It is happening there. Can you see he's walking there? Check up yourself. Your miracle is already there. Arise and walk. Open your eyes and see. And when you are noting your miracle, shout hallelujah. Check up yourself. The power of the release. Check up yourself. And come to the front. Your miracle is already there. It's there. Check up yourself. And when you have noticed your miracle, shout hallelujah. And come out. Want to hear your testimony. It is happening already. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. And when you have noticed your miracle, shout hallelujah. And come out. Where are you? Your miracle is already there. Rise up and walk. Where are you? Open your mouth and speak. Where are you? Open your ears and hear. Open your eyes and see. If you have noticed your miracle, shout hallelujah. And come out. And let us glorify God with you. Yes, it's happening there. It's happening there. It's happening there. Not examine yourself. If you have seen your miracle, just come to the front. Shout hallelujah. The man of God has prayed. The miracle has been released. The yokes are broken. Check up yourself. Your miracle is already there with you. And as you notice your miracle, come out. Want to hear your testimony. God bless you as you come out. Shout hallelujah. Anywhere you are. As you notice your miracle. Cancel us. Check with them. As they notice their miracle, help them to come out. The power is already there. The miracle is already there. It is happening there. When you have noticed your, your miracle, just shout hallelujah and then come out. We want to hear your testimony. Wherever you are, check up yourself. The power of God is already there. Your miracle is already there. We want to hear your testimony. Check up yourself. Your miracle is there. Check up yourself. Your miracle is there. Check up yourself. And come out. Shout hallelujah when you notice your miracle. We are waiting for you. Cancel us. Help them to come out. Anywhere they are. Want to hear your testimony tonight. Your miracle is there with you. Check it out. And when you notice it. Come out. And share your testimony with us. Anyway, we are, we are at the back there, or on my right hand, or on my left hand. Check up yourself. The miracle is already there. And then come out and, and let's share your, let's enjoy your testimony with you. I know God has done it for you. Yes, it's happening there. Yes, come out. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. God will be honored in your life as you come out and share your testimony. Come out. I can see another person coming out. Put your hands together for those coming out. Put your hands together for the Lord. Oh yes. The, the Lord has done it for them. The Lord has done it for them. If you notice your miracle, come out as well. Can see Lord help them to come out. Help them to come out. As you see them with their miracle. And let's share the joy with them. Anywhere you are. Whether on my right side. Or my front. On my left side, if you notice your miracle, it's happening there. It's happening there. It's happening. Put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, yes, it's happening there. God is glorified tonight. Check up yourself. Arise and walk. Throw those crutches away. Open your eyes and see. And come to the front. 
It's happening over there. Check up yourself. It's happening over there. It's happening over there. You can see. Oh, it's happening over there. Put your hands together for the Lord. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. And let's rejoice in their testimony. Check up yourself. Your miracle is right where you are. And as soon as you notice your miracle, come out. And let's rejoice with you. God has done it already. The man of God has prayed. The power of God has been released. The yokes are already broken. And your miracle is yours. Check up yourself. You are not going without problem tonight. It is done already. It is done already. As you notice your miracle, shout hallelujah. And let's rejoice with you in your testimony tonight. You can see them elderly man walking without crutches. Put your hands together for the Lord again. Put your hands together for the Lord again. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Our counselor, you can interview them now. And then let's get ready for testimony tonight. All our counselor, our overseers, our group coordinators, our district pastors. It's happening over there. It's happening over there. It's happening. God has done it for that individual. Check up yourself, your miracle is there. Where you are, you are not going with those problems tonight. They are really rolled away. Check up yourself. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Check up yourself. God has done it for you. And as you notice your miracle, oh, come out. Let's rejoice with you. Hallelujah. Come out. It's happening over there. It's happening over there. God has done it already. If you notice your miracle, just come out. Shout hallelujah. And let's praise God with you. The Lord has done it already. Where are you? Come out with, and let's share your testimony with you. Let's rejoice with you. God has done it already. The anointed man of God has prayed. The yoke has been broken. Your miracle is already there. If you can now see, shout hallelujah. If you can now hear, shout hallelujah. The dumb can now speak. The limbs are walking. If you notice the swelling disappearing in your body, it is happening over there. It's happening over there. Another miracle is there. Put your hands together for the Lord. What other language you can speak? Praise the Lord. Praise our mighty God. Hallelujah. Today I thank God. The two way God will do for me. Why I call him my leg for the other side? This year. Your name. I thank my God. May God do. Agnes, God do it. Otupo. Eh, look, Benue. Otupo. Eh. I know we are coming again four years ago. Now I to see hospital for any new one. I had to go. Now say make a do a place on. A place on come and say to send the knee because in a two two leg. Now say now four mil. Four man, four woman. I no get husband again. I don't know where I go get four mil. My children don't try there. Now now house I did. Now they return player to player. Today now nah, don't move my leg. May God do not allow me to see them again. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Ah, praise the Lord. Four years that woman cannot walk. But today, as the man of God prayed, the problem will be rolled away. And the miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the glory of God. Put your hands together for the glory of God. You can see the joy in the life of that woman. God has done it for you. And the Lord will renew your strength from day to day. Amen. Can we have the next testifier? Next testifier. Tell us your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Ernest Abo. I'm from Benue State here. 
I have this and I have an accident 2014. Praise the Lord. So uh, after that accident in Abuja, so I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have an accident in Abuja 214. My brother died in this very accident. Myself also died, so I later woke up. So I was told to many hospitals in Abuja. So the doctor could not be able to treat me. So they refer me to Kano so that they can cut the leg. So I have spent about two point something million on this leg before. Before I was took to Amana James in Benue State. So later yesterday, somebody told me there is program here today. So I took the journey yesterday. So today I can thank God, I can walk. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can see those crutches are gone. Since 2014, our brother could not walk when he had an accident. But today, as the man of God prayed, the miracle has been released. He can now walk without crutches. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Put your hands together for the Lord. You can see he's walking. Your miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Can we have the next testifier? As these testimonies are going on, your miracle is there. And as soon as you notice it, come out and share with us. Next testifier, tell us your name and what the Lord has done for you, where you come from, what the Lord has done for you. Tell us your name. Put the microphone in his mouth. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Children of God, praise the Lord! I am Sister Olushi, by the grace of God, I'm born again from high level district. About three months ago, after the Easter retreat, I had serious dislocation on my leg. And my ankle, my ankle twisted. I was on the ground for more than five minutes, crying, looking up unto God. Who will come and raise me up? Nobody was there. But I shouted on Jesus. There was no phone in my hand. I said, Jesus, help me. My leg was bent. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. And Jesus came and rescued me. And I stood up on my leg and walked down to my house. And the Lord sent somebody the following day to come and fix the bone. And since then, I have been on POP for about three months walking with two clutches. I'm sorry I didn't bring the clutches here. But when I heard that I did the Lord was coming, one of our brother came to our house and told me, I said, God, our daddy in the Lord will not come here and I will not get my miracle. I stayed in the house and I prayed. And God opened my eyes. I visioned our, our daddy in the Lord and our state pastor. And I said, God, you will remember me through your servant. Right from that day, God remembered me. Every day I sleep and wake up, my leg became lighter. From the gate to this place, I walk with my two legs. Amen. And I thank God right now. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! What the Lord did for me is going to do for you in Jesus' name! Amen! Your miracle is permanent in Jesus' name. Can you put hands together for that, for that great thing the Lord has done? You can see her walking. He has been on crutches for almost, almost three months now. And Praise God has done Lord. it. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! My name is Justina Shagbao from Benue State, Ihu region. I want to thank God so much for his miracle upon my life. Last Saturday on the 18th, I went to a workers' meeting. I sat on where I used to sit. Blood just began to come out of me. But I, I missed my period. I was not supposed to see my blood coming out. So on Sunday, the thing was coming out beyond what I expected. So I went to a clinic. So they carry out tests on me, and the boy say I was pregnant. I say, ah, but why is it that blood is coming out? He say that the thing want to come out. Then on Monday I went for scanning. The, the doctor scanned me and say the child is there, but the child is not acting. The child is just there, so he don't know what is going. He say he will either wash the thing out or something. I say no. I say I know my God will intervene. Praise the Lord. So on the on Thursday I. I told my overseer, Abawa, I told him the problem and he prayed for me. I was believing God. And I wanted to go to the hospital again because the thing was coming out. But my husband said, no, I should wait. 
that GS is coming. After I come to the GS and go, we'll see what the Lord will do. So as I came here, before I come down from the vehicle, I told God that as I'm stepping my foot down, I don't want to experience any blood again. As I'm standing here, I'm having pampas like a little baby. Praise the Lord. Because the thing was beyond what I know. But as I step my foot, and from that time till now, that time if I talk or if I, if I shout, blood will just pour out. But now I can shout, praise the Lord. And there is no problem. There is no blood. Praise the Lord. Yep. And I know I am permanently healed in Jesus' name. It is done in Jesus' name. Put hands together for that miracle. Your miracle is permanent and your miracle will remain yours in Jesus' name. Check up yourself. If you, have got, if you notice your miracle too, you can come out. Next Where's is the fire. Lord? Tell us your name. My name is Tuleti Thomas. I'm a staff of Guma local government. That is LGA Guma. I was coming back from work through Guma. I'm working. I had an accident. The thing affected my brain. That was 2013. But it was end. At last, my, one of my legs started paining me. I don't know what happened to that leg. Then it crossed the other leg. The two legs have been paining me. I've been from various hospitals. I went to BSU Teaching Hospital in the, and another hospital at Nka. They told me what is called arthritis. I've been taking tablets for it for some time. But I don't know why it is happening that the thing is not even ending. As I came to this place, to, maybe I throw my stick, I move a bit, and I'm trying to do an uh, exercise, which means maybe it will maybe clear today. It so is clear in the Lord. Jesus' name. Uh, praise the Lord. is gone. And I'm asking God to continue this. Before I should reach my house, God should provide an opportunity for me so that I will not hold that stick. So you know how this is going in Jesus' name. Our brother is healed in Jesus' name. I'm a staff of Guma. Even Put the chance. governor coming here, I know him very well. I live no closer to his one of his senior brother, Paul Robert. If you don't know, that is where I'm living. In Praise Marcotti the Lord. Thank Put hands together for the Lord. He can walk and will no more use crutches again in Praise Jesus' name. Lord. Next testifier, please. Next testifier. The next testifier, tell us your name, please, and what the Lord has done. He was it. On a man, he was it. My yellow tia went down, Chiangi father, Chakas, not religion, Shala. Go on the island, or dorm, so pay now, Shara Higoya. Shall we young at Kunukala Takla, Yi, Russia, more, King of the Buhama, Portrani? Yang and Banayavi, I call. Kale did do so. Young Shun like Jay Yamu along with James Wards are you. Oh, Shima Hiuzamo Yuzanza. Jemo Yaku and Hingluta, you check Marcus Wahua. Now, Quashun, how much you can saw Mogishima saw Mogishima come up and more haggish and I can't tell him more. A pastor Kyle Sam's how revival she shake me. She even Jay Baker Bega. Niane, he can't hear him saying a Jacquashuma be. Na we he shi elim sen shi be mo ha e kem hi mo ha ha ge i song ku shi ma e la nzu aku a mo mo nga chi kan ha ni doma so pe na te you say what's it amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. That healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Can we have the next testifier? Next testifier. Give them give the person the mic. And let the individual tell us her name. And what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Mary Orecho and this is Alice. She has not been working for five years now. She got ill, and as a result of the illness, her stomach got swollen, and her hands were, was like this, and she was not working. So after the prayer this evening, after the final amen, the mother was holding her, 
So I now told the mother to drop her. So I was now testing her. And at la as I was testing her, she was now walking. And her hands that was like this, the hands now got open. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Triple miracle. The, do the, the child that could not walk before is now walking. And they still are now released. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Quickly, next testifier. Your miracle is there with you. Yes. Give the individual the mic. And let the individual tell us the name and what the Lord has done. Where is the mic? Give the person the mic. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I had an accident last year, October. But my name is Maury Yoleva from Makodi Benue State. I had an accident on my way from work last year and I developed multiple fracture. And since then, I've not been able to walk. I had surgery like twice. When I came here after daddy prayed, I got up and started walking. I walked from my seat to this place. What I couldn't do, I did it. Today. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. God has done it for our sister and the miracle is permanent. I we have the next testifier, please. Quickly. Our time is running off. Next testifier. Tell us your name and what the Lord has done. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Martina Sa. I was, I was having neck pain. I'm from Makodi. I was, my, the problem that brought me, I was having neck pain. For the past three weeks, I will not be able to turn my neck like this. But by the glory of God, I am here. I'm healed. Amen. Amen. Three weeks, neck pain. could not turn her neck. You can see her turning it now. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Next testifier. Next testifier. Please tell us your name, what the Lord has done for you. And let's rejoice in, in what the Lord has done. Amen. Amen. Put the mic near your mouth. Amen. Quite penny circle. The higher hat. Quite penny circle. The higher hat. I need to play both more again. I need to play more hair prep. I go to do do. I'm here to do again. I'm back all over so. Over so many days. We couldn't go to the copia. I have to go more, 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 more. I'm going to go over so many. Oh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. So the person by my side is Friday and uh, from uh, Adoka region. See, he had a case of death from his uh, youth. But thank God that in coming to this particular program, he's able to now hear slightly. But I know that God that is open, has opened his, uh, I mean his uh, ears completely. So thank God for what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. A brother could not hear before for many years. As a man of God prayed, now he can hear properly. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? We have not yet closed. We are, here, we are taking some few testimonies. Be patient and hear this testimony. Next testifier, please. Tell us your name. Where you come from and what the Lord has done. Amen. 
moko anda ele bodo nya manyo ai ka ele moyo gang gang mpale le monaga na bo hama ba hen ni sene wele ya ma ba hen la hen la ma zon to uga na ba ba shira moyo nji na ka yem nje ka yem na mo na ka yem na mo na ka yem na mo na ka ma hira shire ba ko nam ka hida na yina ka hida na yina zan zan ko ara ba sabe ya si o hama si ba yu wele msa mbo wangi Yange ma walu yo na kwa gumi ni ya ele hi wele msala ya ka kende monu ye ni suwan ha ka kende na kwa pata suwanga kende pata suwanga na de nasti am bo msaya nze we ya kwa luwa la kwa manda niga muka zuwa niga kwa tere mo do dia e wasi te amen e ya le christiana ga atokura Tell us what he has. Total deliverance of the power of darkness. Put hands together for the Lord. She's already set free in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord. Next testifier, tell us your name. Hallelujah. Yo ti mi wo sete. Hallelujah. Anya no adu ole moto, ko anda ole moto, ya mo yambe ya cho. Na yambe le ya cho, ya mzan yo ti ya ola mo e. Ipola wa mo kungu wa nguga. Na mi dem gba ni san ko asu ya bi wa mo ya. Pu yo pi mo ngwa ngwa ku shunu. Na ya mi ya ko asu ni wa pa ko asu, wa sin ga na ma ndo wa. Na mi dem wo ni san sha ko asu. Na pastor wa yang ola mo gona oluwa trata ne on do le sorun Na shi yam bia me ya shi on do ola mo ye shi chukuta un le zayo wa un le be Na mba ni ko he pa mi wo le ni san mi wo ru na on do mele wa sin in be ne di tra wa den e mo hi de mo bien na hanga Na shi o lo do lo a e le ni san be aba ku le ni san le a ma ngwa ku shinu ma ku kan ja e ku number number do ku tabla tabla na ha Atungwa wushuru kama zende ya ku kuole na kuole na kufati ofilenga na kakuwa ndaele moito jela iwesite. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the last testifier now before we round up. My name is Augustine Nesta. I was oppressed by an evil spirit almost three years now. I can't even, when I was in school on Monday, I was late to come home. So my principal and some teachers were praying in the staff room. I was not able to pass the window because of the prayer. Because what my mind was telling me is to insult them that look at the way they are speaking in tongues. They don't know how to speak speaking tongues. So before I could insult them, I started rolling on the floor. I started rolling on the floor and they came out and started praying for me. Even when I was in school, it, they told me that it's, it's what my friend gave to me that is making me to behave like this because my friend gave me a bead and I put it on and that's how the evil spirit came to me and the, my, that, the person that gave my friend the bid is telling my friend to bring my picture to her, to her house so that they will use my picture so that I'll be one of them so that I'll be able to, to have uh, knowledge in school. So when it happened, when I also came here, when I was at home, my mom told us to come here on fasting. So I was complaining that if I come here on fasting, I will start having stomach ache because I was having an appendix and when I was I, I did not eat, I would start having the stomach pain. So when I came here, I was trying to break the fasting when I went to school for my extra lesson. I could not break the fasting. I only drink and uh, drank water. When I came here, when the pastor prayed, when he was praying, all, when he was saying amen, I could not be able to repeat the amen. When I want to repeat the amen, it will be as if I'm a, I'm a deaf and dumb. I will not be able, I will say, mm -mm, I will not repeat, mm -mm, I will not repeat, I will be saying it to myself. When my mom was praying in the parlor, I was not able to enter the parlor. Whenever I see any strong man of God, I will not be able to go close to that person because of the power that person is, the, the power of God in that person. I was coming back from school, any church, 
at, in, on the road, I will not be able to pass that church. Even the picture of uh, GS, I told my friend that look at this ugly man. That no, no, I don't, I don't want to see the man that they should throw away their paper. But I, I thank God when the prayer of the man of God is over, I just fell down and everything was over. Amen. Yeah. She's delivered in Jesus' name.